Hey, how you going? Aaron Chen here. Hope you're doing well today. Um, today I wanted to talk about something uh, really important actually uh, and it really has to do with you know your success and how to take your your skills um, to the next level you know I, I've told this story before but I think it's it's a great one just to kind of go over again um, you know especially if you're trying you know you're finding it difficult and maybe you're struggling to get your online business or your internet marketing business affiliate marketing business whatever you're trying to do online to the next level right and a lot of people kind of struggle with this um, and you know the easiest thing to do really um, is to take a look around you right and to look at the five people that you spend the most time with right and you know of those five people if you take all of them and you average out their income um, that's basically how much money you're going to make on average okay so if the five people that you hang out with on a regular basis only make five thousand dollars a month then you're probably going to earn about five thousand dollars a month right so you know you the basically the, the people that you hang out with your, your network is going to equate to your net worth okay if that makes sense right so if you find that the people that you hang out with are your best friends and they, they generally don't really earn that much money and they're a little bit broke you know that kind of thing then you know it's not that you need to find new best friends because obviously you know but you don't you don't want to be so so cutthroat like that but what you need to do is you need to definitely find ways to hang out around people um, that have a bigger net worth okay and the easiest way to do that I found over the years is to basically find mentorship right uh, find the right mentors or find the right masterminds where you can basically rub shoulders with people that are earning much much more than you because what that does is because they set the bar very very high and obviously they're a lot more knowledgeable in certain areas than you are then you can basically be a sponge and be motivated and inspired and basically get all the knowledge and, and skills that you need to get yourself to a high income level I hope that makes sense right it's pretty 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 straightforward stuff yeah and so um, you know if, if you can't you know, it's difficult to, to become friends with millionaires straight away, but the easy way is to do what I just said, right? Find mentors and join masterminds um, in order to do that, right? And so, um, you know, when I started online about nine years ago, I knew that, okay? Right from the beginning, I knew that if I wanted to get my skills to the next level, I needed to find a mentor, okay? Because um, that's not rocket science, right? It's, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. It's common sense stuff, right? Find someone who has what you want and then stay as close to them as possible so that you can learn the skills to get you to the next level or where you want to go okay and so the first mentor I found was kind of by default I found this guy um, you know funnily enough I found him on YouTube right um, and he was making some really really cool videos and stuff like that and um, sorry well guys one second here and and so what I found was that he was actually marketing this um, really popular online system at the time which is actually still around by the way funnily enough um, they're actually a quite a good company and so I joined him in his company thinking that this guy was going to mentor me right and the problem was was he's he's a great guy if you met him in real life you know I've been to the US I've been to a lot of different um, events right internet marketing events I've, I've had drinks with him party with him all this stuff but the problem was was the way that he set his business up unfortunately he was a lot more focused on uh, driving that company uh, that marketing system so he actually didn't really have a setup where he was spending time with his students which was really unfortunate you know um, I don't know why he set up his business like that but that's kind of the way that he set it up so this was nine years ago right and um, even though I did okay in that system um, I didn't really have his guidance at all you know I I, I, I I had access to him but there was you know you know I couldn't get on you know I couldn't be sending him emails every single day right it was just you know it'd be very difficult to to you know have that kind of mentor and student relationship that way um, so I didn't really get that much value out of that relationship unfortunately and I did okay in that marketing system but not to the level where I was making big bucks okay because again that system uh, was in it, when it was in its early phases and didn't allow its people to make very very big income unfortunately right so I was I was I became a top performer in that system but even then I wasn't really making that much money unfortunately so 
that was the first year, first second year, and then I decided mm, I need to find another mentor. You know, I need I need to do something else, right? And then so, um, I met this other guy in the system. He was also a top performer, and um, you know, a couple of years after that, he basically messaged me and he said, "Hey, Aaron, you know, you got to join me in my gig, right? Because this thing is like going off, okay?" And so. Um, I did a little bit of research and he was doing really, really well and I wanted to learn from him, okay? Um, and so I decided to join him in, in this um, it's more of a, you know, it was more of a network marketing, internet marketing opportunity, okay? And so I joined him, um, hoping to learn from him, hoping to, to do really, really well in this program. And, um, you know, by that time, you know, a few years had gone by, I had learned some internet marketing skills, I kind of knew what I was doing, I, I you know, I, I had some success, I had, you know, generated sales, I had generated some big sales, some small sales, I had learned how to generate lots of traffic, uh, but I was still struggling a little bit with the conversion part, right, to, to, to have a positive ROI consistently, that was the problem. And so I joined him in this gig, and did pretty okay, you know, you know, did pretty okay, sold quite a lot of product in it, it was a good company um, as well, um, and they had a, you know, they had a much better system, they had a much better sort of system that would sort of take people through the process and upsell them, it wasn't super slick, but it was better than my first, you know, my first internet marketing opportunity, uh, and so I did okay there, but the problem was, was the guy that I was following, he, again, even though he was a great guy, um, and he had, you know, you know, he basically had a membership site where he was teaching people how to do stuff. The problem was, was he was doing everything through SEO, okay, and social media, right? Now, if you know anything about SEO and social media, the problem with these strategies is that you have to spend a lot of time on social media. So that means that you know, because you're not paying for traffic, there's no leverage points, okay, with social media, unfortunately, right? Which means that in order for you to get results with social media, you have to be working on the social media like six to eight hours a day, every single day, if you wanna drive a lot of traffic from social media, okay? It's very, very tough, right? So remember that free traffic is great traffic, but you have to put in the time. So basically, you're exchanging time for money, if that makes sense, right? That's the problem with social media. And the same thing with SEO, it's extremely technical, okay? So if you don't understand how to drive backlinks, if you don't have time to write articles, if you don't have the time to do all the backlinking and all that kind of stuff, um, it, it, it's, it's pretty tough to actually get results from it, okay? So that's what he was focused on. He was focused on teaching SEO and so free social media traffic, right? And after following him for a year, you know, I just couldn't replicate the strategies that he was doing because, I mean, they were just they were just too time consuming. You know, I didn't want to be on Facebook for six hours a day, you know, writing articles and posting links on different forums and all that kind of stuff, right? I, I didn't want to do that because I just feel that there's no leverage in doing that, right? I mean, if you're going to be online, right, uh, and if there are tools and software and, you know, leverage points and videos, you know, you really shouldn't be online for six hours a day, seven hours a day, posting links on groups in Facebook because there's no leverage. I mean, that that to me is like a that to me is like a full time job, right? Because if I'm not posting links, then I'm not generating any traffic, which becomes a problem, right? So even though my second mentor again was a great guy and he had you know he had a support structure and stuff like that, the strategies that he was teaching just didn't fit with what I wanted to do with my business, okay? Um, so that was my second mentor. Then the third, so not really mentor, but but the third sort of, you know, iter iteration of that was um, when, when one of my business partners and I, we, we kind of, you know, went off and we did our own business and, uh, you know, it was, it was a very good um, business venture. Uh, again, everything was online and we were doing top tier sales, right? And, and the thing about top tier sales is that, you know, it, it's great and all, but um, the, the type of business that we had going was a business where you basically had to, um, uh, first of all, generate leads online. Okay, that's the first part, which is pretty okay. But because our products had a very, very high price point, and I'm talking about like, you know, 10, 20, $30,000 price points, right? We literally had to spend four hours 
um, doing online presentations with our potential customers before they decided to buy. And it wouldn't happen in one meeting, it would happen sometimes in two to three meetings because if you can imagine, to get someone to part with 20,000, 10, 20 to 30,000 dollars, I mean, you have to spend a little bit of time with them, right? People aren't just gonna, you know, take out 30,000 dollars and send that to you via bank transfer, right? It, it's, you know, it's a it's a process, right? And even though we, we were pretty successful and we made probably like three or four sales, right? Um, after a while, we, we just decided that that business model didn't really make sense because, you know, if we wanted, it's not replicatable, right? I mean, if we wanted our teammates to do it or if we wanted to do it all the time, I mean, I don't have four hours, you know, you know, and we had to do these meetings like three, four times a week. That's a lot of time. You know, that's like 20 hours in a week. Again, it became like a full-time job, right? So even though the money was quite good, okay, um, the, the business model didn't make sense. Okay, and so after doing that again for about six months to 12 months, we decided this is not a scalable business model, right? And so over the last nine years, I've been through, number one, a lot of mentors, right? I would say two to three different mentors, and I've been through four to five different business models, okay? And so over that time, I figured out what works and what doesn't, and who I should be following and who I shouldn't be following, okay? And so, the conclusion that I came to after about seven or eight years of, you know, testing different things, following different people, you know, doing different things um, is, is this, okay? The easiest way for you to get to where you want to go, all right, first of all, is to find a mentor. That, that's, that's definitely what I would recommend, okay? Um, basically, hang around people that have what you want, people that have the results that you want, and people that um, can teach you things. Um, to get your skill sets to the next level, okay, and to motivate you and keep driving you. That's the number one thing. The second thing, though, is what a lot of people don't talk about, is when you choose that mentor, okay, make sure they're building their business the way that you want to build your business, okay? That's super important. Very few people talk about that, okay? That's something that I had to learn for myself, right? Because Yes, it's important to follow people that, you know, have the things that you want, but if they're building the biz their business in a completely different way from the way that you want to build your business, then you're not going to be able to learn that much from them, okay? Because like my second mentor, who was a great guy, he was doing everything via social media and SEO, right? But after doing it for a year, I realized that that business model is not scalable. Right? I, I don't want to be there working on my business 12 hours a day. I mean, what's the point of building an internet marketing business if you have to be there 12 hours a day, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be putting in the work because, you know, if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, you know, now, you know that I'm all about the hard work, right? I'm all about the hard work. I'm all about putting in the time. I'm all about putting in, you know, earning your stripes, right? And you know, you've got to work hard if you want to get the results. I'm not about shortcuts, okay? But if you put in the work, there has to be a, a, a point in time in your business where you can scale your time back and either hire people or use tools and technology to leverage your time, okay? Because the whole point of starting a very powerful online business is so that you can is, is so that you can scale your income to a point where you don't have to be there all the time if you don't want to be there. Okay, it, it becomes optional, right? Now, don't get me wrong, you know, yes, absolutely, at the beginning, you're gonna have to put in the time, okay? Because like building any business, you have to put in the time. You gotta build your foundation, okay? But up to a certain point, you wanna get to a point where you don't, you don't really have to spend that much time. If you want to, you can work on your business two hours a day or three hours a day. You know, you don't need to be there eight hours or 10 hours a day. I mean, that, that to me is the best type of online business, okay? And so, um, it's all about leveraging technology, right? And, and leveraging leverage points within your business, right? So again, back to what I was saying. Number one, find a mentor, okay, first of all. Number two, find a mentor who is, who is building their business the way that you wanna build your business, okay? If you wanna create leverage in your business, if you wanna eventually use technology to do a lot of the heavy lifting, then you gotta find someone who has built their business in that exact same way. Okay, don't make this don't make the mistake like me where I wasted probably three or four years of my time following people that were building their business in a way that I didn't really want to build my business because it just didn't make sense to me. Okay, even though they were making a lot of money, right? Um, the third thing 
is that make sure that you're you, make sure that you're using a business model that is scalable okay because there are lots of online business models out there which are great but a lot of them are not scalable okay because if you have to spend four hours with every single client in order to close them into a big opportunity, that is not a scalable business, okay? That's not something that you wanna be doing. What you wanna be doing is you wanna be doing something that is systematized, okay? Something that is leveraged, something that upsells your potential customers into bigger packages in the future. You wanna have something like that, right? Something that's automated, something that builds a relationship with your prospects, something that has a funnel that is not just you know, one week, but a funnel that lasts six to 12 months. I mean, that to me is a powerful platform, okay, for you to be part of, right? So if you can have a look, you know, if you look into the long term, um, and, and you know, maybe you wouldn't have known this like, you know, when you first started out, but I'm telling you this because I've actually been through all these things, right? Now, maybe you might decide, you know, in the end, well, Aaron, uh, you know, that, that's not a business model um, that, that, that makes sense to me then it's completely up to you what, you know how you choose your mentor and what business you're, you're a part of and all that stuff but if that makes sense to you then I would probably go in that direction okay because for me um, you know th these three things are super important right and, and and that's the way that I choose my mentors that's the way that I choose my business models um, and that's the way um, that, that I want to learn how to structure my business right is, is about leverage points yeah so um, I think that, that that would probably fit about 90% of the people out there I mean most of the people that I speak to that's that's kind of the biz businesses that they want to build right so if that makes sense at all let me know in the comments below okay because um, you know I don't want you going out there you know knowing that you have to find a mentor but finding someone who is doing a completely opposite thing that, that you want to do because believe me you're gonna waste a lot of time right and by the time you realize that you've been following someone who is leading you in the wrong direction it's gonna be too late right that's gonna be like 12 to 24 months down the line when you finally you know it finally clicks in your head that you're like oh this guy's a great guy but uh, the kind of business he's, you know, they're building is just completely opposite to what I'm trying to do in my life and my business, right? And it's too late, okay? So it's important that we talk about this stuff now and you realize that now so that you go, you can go out and find that person that, you know, that, that you connect with, that you resonate with and, and everything is in line, not just, you know, the way that they teach but also, um, you know, the, their, their methods and their business models and their structures and, and their businesses, everything, okay? So let me know in the comments below, does that make sense, right? Um, you know, have you been going out there, you know, trying to follow, you know, have you been following the wrong person? Have you been following the wrong people, right? Um, give me a thumbs up if you got some value from this uh, video today and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already, right? Because I'm always coming out with, with videos like this, um, everything to do with motivating you, um, getting you to, to, you know, take a massive action in your business and also teaching you some really kick-ass um, internet marketing strategies to help you build a really, really big internet marketing business, okay? Now, if you want to spend a little bit more time with me, Right? If you've been watching my videos for a while or if this is the first time that you're watching one of my videos and you want to learn from me a little bit, then I want to teach you how to build um, a very powerful online business. Okay, So if you want to get access to some of my free training, you can click on the link right below this video. There's a little link right there. It's going to lead you to your website, uh, my website, sorry. All you have to do is enter your best email address um, and I'm going to start sending you some free training that you can use straight away okay to learn how to build a very powerful online business so um, that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this video and um, you know I hope to speak to you very very soon in another one of my videos so have an awesome week take care and I'll speak to you soon